Dragon, please! I know that's hard to do in 8 scale with all you hillbillies out there, but... I'm going to say that was a relatively clean start. Caution at the triple! Caution at the triple! Or more or less semi-clear of things. I don't know what's going on. Alright. Alright, so... Hopefully things will sort themselves out from here. RV, don't hit the brakes if you don't have to. Are these going to drive through the pain there, I believe? Oh! Yep. Are you kidding me? Mike McMahon sabotaging RB's car because he knew who was coming for him. <laughs> I think the motor backed off or something. Hey. Alright, well, after the carnage ensuing on the first couple minutes of that race, we got two down and five to go. Mike McMahon with a healthy advantage out front. And then we have Sean Cochran in the number two spot and Mid Strafford not making any of the qualifiers, but he got his practice in earlier today. Running in that number three spot, he threw some new tires on there, a little more round shape to them. Says it probably was going to help the car out, and it looks like the car is running pretty good right now. It is the Silver Mugen out front. It is the blue associated super lightweight car in the number two spot, and it is the blue. And white with a yellow trim. Rosie 8 2.0 of Mitch Trafford running in the number three spot. Just gliding over the top of that whoop section. 2.30 down and 4.30 left to go in this one. McMahon crossing the line. So far no 19 second lap times in this race. Mitch Trafford going to be the fastest driver on the track. But a bobble there. And a slam dunk shot out of Brad Purdue. It's going to get him back on his wheels. Mitch, again, like I said, fastest driver on the track with a 20 flat. We've got a few 20 flats out there. And then Mike McMahon says, no, no, Mitch. I will not have that. Throws down the 19.8 second lap time. It's like Steve Nguyen out there running Scott Kirkus' Mugen car. See what it's all about. Caution on the straight. It is clear. Straight away is clear. Mid Strafford now all the way up into the number two spot. A couple of rough ones there out of Sean C. And Jeff Smith. And Brian Bembry. Mitch nowhere near the leader, but pretty good lead over the rest. Actually, Jeff Smith putting in a solid run here in the main. Running in that number two spot. Steve again rolling over. Just can't seem to really get a handle on that thing. Mitch trying to stretch out his lead from Jeff Smith. Running in that number two spot. Mike on a 21 lap pace. Mitch on a 20 lap pace along with Jeff. Brian Bembry running in that four spot. Sean Cochran running in that five spot. Sean with a 20 flat. Brian with a 20.7. Jeff with a 20 flat. Mitch with a 20 flat. And Mike with a 19.8. 2.30 left to go on the clock. 4.30 down and 2.30 left to go. No real serious battles in this race right now. As it looks like Mitch has gotten away from Jeff Smith. Closest battle on the track I guess technically would be the battle for the lap between Mitch and Mike. I'm sure Mitch doesn't want to go a lap down, but he's got two minutes to try and hold him off. However, if he does get there, you know, don't don't kill him for no reason. 
If you have your fancy shirt on tonight, Mitch, you gotta play civil. One forty five left to go for Mick Money leading the way in the all silver Mugen MBX six. He said he got rid of that techno thing and he feels much better about it now. Crossing the start finish line, getting back to his old tricks. Twenty point five, Stratford to twenty one. Oh, Smith at 22.7, Bembry at 20.8. So Brian Bembry trying to make up ground on third place. Oh, Jeff Smith with a minute 30 left on the clock. That's now our closest battle on track. Coming on to the straightaway. They're about one straightaway apart. The associate RCAD of Jeff Smith and the Mugen. MBX6 of Brian Bembry. Brown and Brian catches a pipe. Brad running to the rescue with one minute left to go. Well, a little over a minute left to go. Sean C. Taking that number four spot back from Brian there after that bobble. Crossing the start finish line with one minute left on the clock. Looks like Brian bouncing through the whoops. Sean goes underneath him. Gets tangled up but gets out of it. Clean enough. Going to stay in the number four spot with 45 seconds left. Down the straightaway goes Stratford. Still on the two. Into the S. Goes the leader in the number one spot. Mike McMahon bouncing, crashing. By the start finish line, but nobody, even within a lap of him right now, Mitch getting a little crazy, but gets back on the wheels and gets back into the swing of things. Jeff Smith making up all kinds of ground, but then a crash of his own with only 20 seconds left is going to hurt him. Looks like Eric Mahata pulling off a little bit early there. Eric fast lap of the race was a 20.7. 10 seconds left to go. Brian going to make it by for one more. Mitch going to make it by for one more. Jeff Smith should make it by for one more. And that'll do it for time. Sean, you'll be done when you get there in the number four. Everyone else keeping going to the line. Mike McMahon taking the win. Soon to win. Done it in the number five. Brian Dunn in number six. Eric off in the seven. Mitch done in number two. And Jeff Smith starting in the bottom. We're going to finish number three. That's the race, guys, and that does it for this evening. I'd like to thank all you guys for coming out, and of course, thanks to our sponsors, Team Associated, Rob's RC Hobbies, Civic Ghost Hobbies, and Offner Hobel.